hi everyone why many students fail gate exam even after studying more hours just like you know 12 hours 10 hours 9 hours you know it is really challenging and really uh, a difficult situation that we face even though we work hard why the result is not as we expect right for that we have lot of reasons and today in this session i'll be discussing i'll be sharing some valuable points the fail is one of the step but we don't want to be failed right if you don't want to be failed then you should take care of some steps while preparing more hours yes more hours is good but also it is equally going to be a negative impact if you don't uh, take all the uh, positive steps so let's begin today's session uh, with why many aspirants fail gate exam even though they work so hard and uh, why it's not going to be the effective in terms of results correct so uh, it could be a misconception uh, concept uh, concept or you know it could be right sometimes too like a more hours really gives you success but not always right then what should be the strategy to prepare uh, for uh, the gate preparation which may include more hours but sufficient hours depends on the time that you have depends on uh, the uh, number of subjects that you have to prepare that will decide how many hours you should and how much practice you want to put into right some people you know i say some people four hours per day they prepare and still they get good rank top 100 to top 200 but they might have the time one year eight months sufficient time they have but when you have less time you should give more time to prepare but how much how do you prepare is going to impact your preparation right so yes many believe studying 12 plus hours guarantee gate success creating a culture of endless spending it's you know one of the best examples that i'm saying i am the one where i uh, had worked so hard preparing 12 to 14 hours per day and that too i prepared only four to five months hardly i got a rank 210 so this is a one kind of you know person where who works so hard so the result also may come equally but if you put effort in right direction and the reality is the quantity does not equal quantity so if you are working more hours doesn't mean that you will get a result so i might fail if i don't attempt well but luckily you know i got a rank because of you know uh, various situations that you know i all easy concepts i understood clearly but some some concepts which i am not able to uh, understand so i practiced a little bit more and then uh, got uh, not much clarity but less clarity but i got at least definitions in right direction okay so thus you need to have the strategy like you know if you are watching the videos but not getting anything so you need to practice more so that you whatever the theory theoretical concepts are there which will uh, come into practice okay so the reality is the quantity and quality that depends on how you prepare definitely if you are putting 10 to 12 hours per day and every minute that you are studying will not store in your brain so you should have like if you prepare for two hours maybe two to three hours you need to practice on the concepts that you have read okay this can give you more benefit good evening everyone right so yeah give more uh, time to prepare when you are able to do it when you're not able to do it do what you can say like some people are comfortable with four to six hours yes you do that in remaining time you go you go for more practice if you are watching the videos you are preparing you know new things your mind may not you know uh, support you but when you are doing the knowing things and if you are interested definitely you can uh, spend more time in gate preparation yeah and also it is not compulsory to prepare for 12 hours that's what i'm trying to say but some people does but that doesn't mean that result is also uh, positive okay. if you are doing eight hours yes it really good and keep continuing it and you will get good results if you are uh, putting in right direction okay 
So uh, top scorers, if you see it, uh, even they study fewer hours, but they uh, practice more. Uh, they don't count practice and revise into the preparation time. They want effectively four to five hours a day and remaining time while traveling, while having free time. And they do more practice. They think reality. They need more revision. And every person in the world who is studying new concepts, they need more practice and revision. See, anything you talk about in reality, like you have studied, let's say, uh, engineer. Like if you don't have a practice, you cannot apply it. So you need to have more experience. Like that's why uh, in industry, if you are going to work anywhere, they look at how much experience you have. Because if you are a pressure, you can't handle many things at a time, right? So they look at your experience. Same way, when you have more practice and revision, you will get a lot of things and you can handle clearly most of the problems that are related to the concepts you can solve easily. So uh, efficiency is very important, right? Uh, that's where we lack a lot of many times. So if anybody is able to uh, give an effort and equally you are getting efficient results, then you are going to be getting good results. So what are the problems that you face uh, while uh, getting efficiency? And some things, you know, the planning especially. Uh, like you have, let's say, uh, eight hours but still you are not able to give 8 hours, like you are giving only 4 hours. The remaining 4 hours you are not utilizing it, right. And sometimes uh, you are uh, having, let's say, a good conference in a particular topic, still you are wasting the time on that, right. So not giving enough time to those topics which you are not able to um, grasp. So you need to give more time where, where you have more difficulty, remember this. Ignoring mock test analysis, like many people attempt test, but they only look at the marks rather than analyzing what mistakes you are doing it, what is your strong and weak portion, how to improve uh, better, uh, which you are not able to do it right now. So, doing such mistakes and overloading without breaks, like they want to prepare for 10 hours, so doing 4 or 4 hours continuously or uh, doing one, one task, so that's a very bad idea. So please avoid it and because of that, some side effects also comes uh, due to continuous preparation and no clear roadmap. Uh, that means you should have like, you know, you have started a topic, how long you want to prepare for it. If you don't put a limit, instead of preparing for 5 hours, it may go for 20 hours. That's not the recommended one, correct? You need to have psychological barriers are there, stress and you know, uh, overwhelm. These things always happens to those people who are preparing continuously, who are preparing more time, more hard work. These things comes when you are deviating your task. Your aim is to uh, complete your task and write exam beautifully so that result will come as per your expectation or as per your hard work. So don't overthink uh, and don't be stressful. Because th these things are common, right? You are putting long hours, then definitely it will give you side effects. For that reason, I am saying it. And when you are putting the 4 hours or 5 hours study time, then remaining time you should give for more practice and revision overall day, right? And fear, obviously. And uh, some things like, you know, uh, you can uh, read it. Unlike 150 topper like uh, example I have given, but you can read it, the recovery neglect of what happens, how it happens, right? So now what you can do is, you need to focus on, you know, uh, mentally and physically. Because if these things are not taken care in the beginning and last few days before the exam, you will, cannot undeliver pressure. So day, from assume that from today onwards, you take care of your health, and that will become your wealth in uh, your result. Okay. Like, uh, what toppers uh, may do differently, like strategic analysis, how uh, do they, you know, investigate their mistakes and they try to uh, spend a lot of time on the identifying mistakes through analysis and improving the weak areas so that they keep on adding uh, the a more topic stronger and they need to strengthen problem solving uh, patterns like if you are solving a particular uh, let's say you are solving particular problem 
and that problem can be asked in many of the different ways and you may have a different approaches so find out all the problem solving techniques to solve this some kind of concept okay and goal oriented sessions like uh, your study uh, should have the clarity and it should it should provide the right result correct if you are giving more hours but not getting the result it's not good idea to prepare uh, so change the strategy and balanced approach like prepare uh, you need to prepare you need to practice you need to revise you need to give a test and you need to discuss you need to learn a lot of things during your preparation so have a, a good way to uh, prepare so put a balanced strategy real stories like you have a lot of them when hard work is not enough then definitely uh, what is it so you just read uh, individual what the uh, stories that can uh, inspire your a journey preparation journey and everybody has their own some people spend a lot of theory rather than solving the problems so the strategy may work may not work when it fails then you will understand you need to practice more correct some people you know have a, a distraction due to social media and uh, other things then try to you know avoid them correct so you need to prepare smart enough you need to put real hard work you need to give enough time to get a rank and enough time to complete your syllabus so uh, you will get the good results okay so study smart not just long uh, you should go for long if you have a time but don't focus on long as a primary pri uh, priority if you are giving longer time but not giving the smart uh, not doing the smart work not recommended so some people prepare 10 hours and really they are doing good with the smart strategies it will work okay so put up have a proper plan and focus on quality rather than how much you are studying but whatever you are studying you are getting everything and you are doing good effort so try to do that way right if you are putting today 8 hours at least you know that 8 hours time you need to have a preparation practice revision all the things should be mixed then only your preparation journey will go smooth right success formula is do continuously preparation don't just do like weekend only you are doing or not weekdays that will not work but at least weekdays you are busy 2 to 4 hours give the time and weekend you give more time if you want but those people who are completely passed out then uh, you can give uh, the consistently daily the minimum number of hours guaranteed in preparation effort and that to intelligently uh, you should understand where to put uh, uh, where to give the right uh, effort and how much time need to spend okay? that will that will give you a success obviously the mindset is the only the thing in the world which will help you to crack the exam right today you are preparing for the gate because you have taken that option as your primary goal and doing to get a success right so thank you so much for joining this session and in case if you have any queries uh, you know you can discuss with us and gfg we have uh, started we are going to start the crash course it is already launched on a gfg platform in case if you are not aware that those people who are not started the gate preparation you can start the gate preparation now from the october uh, first week onwards we are uh, planned to complete the whole syllabus in 3 to 4 months and that can give you the more confidence to get at least you know good rank in the coming gate exam okay all the best for your gate preparation thank you jai hind